It's getting hot in here. Okay, let's be serious. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Once again, you find me sitting on my bed. This time I'm not discussing feminine products like I was on Tuesday. If you didn't see that video, I'm gonna link it up here and in the description box. If it flows your boat, or if you're interested to find out more about menstrual cups, please watch it. Today, I'm gonna be showing you an activity that I'm gonna be doing with Zion, who is currently sleeping. When he wakes up, I'm going to give him his lunch and sort of in the late afternoon when we don't really know what to do with ourselves and he's been awake for a long time but he doesn't have a second nap anymore, I'm going to whip up this activity which I hope is going to make him happy and keep him busy. So I'm going to show you a couple of things before I begin um, and speak about you know price points and what we're going to do with them and stuff. So I got this bag from the crazy store if you're in south africa you know um the crazy store and inside let's open it there are these pipe cleaners which is the activity that i'm going to be doing with him today there are one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12 pipe cleaners, which is what we're going to be using today. I love these colors. I feel like it could do with a red and an orange as well. But anyways, we're going to be using these. In the packet, there are also these um, ice cream sticks. These colorful ice cream sticks. We're not going to be using these today. I will do another video where I use these another time but i love the colors i feel like it could do with a blue <laughs> but these are cute and then there are these googly eyes which i don't know what we're gonna do with them yet and then there are these different sized pom-pom balls these little pom-poms which um i actually want to get more of these so if I, I can find a crazy store that's got like more of these i will buy more but i'm going to put the pom-poms the cake Cakesicle six, popsicle six to the side and the googly eyes and talk about the pipe cleaners. So Zion is currently 16 months old and this activity is suitable for one to three year old. Um, he does not go to school yet. We are thinking about it, but with what's currently going on with this panoramic that's not ending, I don't really know what's going to happen with him next year. But because he's still at home and I also want him to get into some activities, he already goes to swim school, you guys know that, um, but some other activities to help with brain development, color recognition, fine and gross motor skills, I'm going to help him with this today. This activity, you will need these pipe cleaners. So um, that whole bag I got at the crazy store for 25 Rand. If I'm not wrong, if I'm wrong, it's probably 30 Rand, but I mean, that's something you can easily spend on a coffee, you know. Um, so you will need these pipe cleaners and you will need a colander, which is in the kitchen right now. But the purpose of this is for me to thread the um, pipe cleaners into the holes of the colander. A colander is that thing that you use to rinse out your rice or rinse out your pasta or wash your vegetables or fruit. And it's to help with his fine motor skills. He will use this grasp, the pincer grasp that he's already um, formed. Um, I think he had it when he was like eight or seven months, somewhere around there, to pull the pipe cleaners out of the colander. And that helps with fine motor skills, which will help later on with writing. If I'm not mistaken, he is right-handed. When he eats, he eats with his right hand. When he uses cutlery to eat, he eats with his right hand most of the time. Sometimes he does try to use his left hand, um, but that's not really important right now. Um, but yeah, what, what I want to do with him with these is to obviously help with the fine motor skills, but also help with color recognition and um, learning new words. Um, let's say, he's doing this activity and I see him pull out a purple pipe cleaner, I can say that pipe cleaner is purple. So I follow the speech sisters on Instagram and I saw a post from them that said that kids learn colors when the color is after the noun. So instead of saying the red car, you can say the car is red. So the color goes after the noun. So I can say 
that pipe cleaner is yellow um, and also talk about the texture of this we can say it's fluffy we can talk about the size of it it is long we can talk about the width it is thin we can also talk about it is bendy so we're introducing a lot of new words we're doing color recognition and we're also practicing fine motor skills how lovely I forgot to mention this but one more thing or two more things that I got at the crazy store were bubbles I got him these bubbles um, each one was 10 Rand so at the crazy store I spent like 50 Rand for this and these he just likes them so when we go for walks I take one of these with and blow the bubbles at him and he tries to catch them and he tries to blow bubbles too so I really like this so here's my colander I'm going to thread these um, pipe cleaners through these little holes. Um, when he's older and he's got better concentration and hand-eye coordination, he will be able to thread these or should be able to thread these in here himself. But because this is a new game for him, I'm going to thread them in and then his job is going to be to pull them out and we can talk about the color, the size, the length as I mentioned earlier. Hello. Hi. Hi, buddy. Are you ready to play? Are you ready to play? Hi. <laughs> what did you say? Come. <laughs> Is it wow? You can play with it. Yeah, what color is that? It's purple. Sit. Yeah. Yellow. Yeah. Yellow. Did you put that there? What gun? I don't know what Zion and his dad are doing behind me but that was definitely a winning game it lasted over 20 minutes and I didn't think that he'd be able to thread them through the holes but baby boy was just like go 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 so proud of him and we obviously discussed about the shape how they feel in his hands um, he learned a new word which is nice because I kept saying nice every time he put them through the holes <laughs> Um, I hope you guys liked this video um, once again um, please check out the um, 
sensory play video I did with the grape jelly. I will link it up here and in the description box. And I'm so keen to do more of these kinds of videos. I'll see you guys in Saturday's um, sweat session. Please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and that you're subscribed so that you don't miss any of my videos. Bye.